Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build your Expo app for the Apple App Store. Um, I'm going to show you two ways. The first way is the easiest way with auto submit, so you don't even require a Mac. The second way is a lot more manual. And then I'm going to show you how to use TestFlight as well. So first you'll update the build number. That's because Apple only accepts um, one, uh, one build number. So like you can't submit the same build with the same build number multiple times. That's different to the version. The version can stay the same. Um, so yeah, I've just done this command EAS build platform IOS. So the dash P is shorthand for platform and then dash dash auto submit because I want it to auto submit once it builds and that will save me needing a Mac. I do have a Mac, but if I didn't have a Mac, I could use that option and it'll submit to the App Store without me um, having to find an app, a Mac to upload to the App Store because the um, tool that you use to upload for the to the App Store is available on Macs. So um, once I've logged in and done all that sort of thing, it'll basically prompt me to um, supply what credentials I want to use for um, uploading to my Google Auth demo. And so I've just chosen the default add new and it's going to go and do that. And once you've done that, it'll create the build. And once the build runs, it'll start off the app store submission. So you can see that's running there now. And they'll progress along and then after a while it will complete and you'll be able to head over to App Store Connect where you'll be able to see that your build number is processing. And once it's processed you can submit to test flight and I'll show you that in a minute. So this is the manual method so you'll once again update your build number. And this is the command you'll use, um, EAS build platform iOS. Once again, you'll log in with your credentials. Um, because I've done this before, it just knows my credentials and will go in and um, automatically do everything. It'll do lots of things that you would have had to do manually. So it is quite good and really makes the submission process much more easy. I don't have push notifications, so I've chosen not to... Um, set up push notifications and then it uploads the build. So basically if you go to this build um, link then you'll see um, your build progressing and then once it's done you can download an IPA file. So you can see that my build's been submitted and it's starting. Then I can log into Apple and um, I can see my different apps that I've got. And this is where I'm going to show you how to get up to Test Flight and set it up. So go to Test Flight and it'll show any builds you already have submitted. You can see I've got three builds submitted at this stage and my current build is running on Expo. So that's build four. It's still going. Once it's um, done, I'll upload it using this um, piece of software, which is called Transporter. Basically allows you to manually upload IPA files to the App Store. So now that's done, I've downloaded my IPA file so that I can upload it to the App Store. So I'll click that little plus and choose my IPA file. And then I'll just go ahead and upload and verify things and do all the Apple processing. Um, and then it'll come into this builds and it will, um, when it's um, ready to submit to test flight, you'll get this email. Just like that, you can see it's got the build number and that it's ready for test flight. So if I refresh test flight, I should see my build number four. Um, so once that loads, you'll see it. And what you want to do is you want to um, 
click on manage because you're going to want to add the missing compliance and that's just so that um, Apple can submit it to your testers. So you're just filling out whatever matches up with um, your app. And you can see I've set up a tester here and they've installed version 3 currently. Um, so now I've got this email on my device that says that a new update is available. And so I go to test flight and I can download it. You can see that this is version 4 which matches up with the build that I just submitted. And when it's done I can open it and I could do any testing I wanted to at this stage. If I go look at the testers, um, it'll be, you'll be able to see that I've now installed version 4, which is the one that I just submitted, so you can see that update there. I hope that this has been helpful to you, and if it has, please like and subscribe for more similar content.